In the middle of these 90 degree days, a dip in one of our rivers and creeks might sound pretty tempting. Of course, right now, that's maybe not a good idea in many places. No, it really isn't. Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo is catching up with crews dealing with dozens of rescues amid dangerous conditions. Experts say June is one of the most dangerous times of the year for water activities, and that's because the snow melt increases water levels. That's what we're seeing here at Clear Creek. And I want you to take a listen to that water rushing. That's more than 900 cubic feet per second. The water is flowing 10 times faster than it does during winter. Hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. As the weather heats up. It's really hot. And the snowpack melts. Rivers and creeks are reaching high water levels, increasing water dangers. The more water that's flowing, the faster it goes and the more power that it has. Just a little bit of water can actually knock you right off your feet. Elias Halunga, a golden native, knows the dangers of Clear Creek all too well. I've hit my head in there before and actually had people had to drag me out of the river. Firefighters from across the U.S. spent the day training in Clear Creek for swift water rescues. Rescues this time of year are extremely common. We had uh, two rescues on Saturday, uh, two children and then an adult as well that got off of their rafts and couldn't get out of the water. On Monday, Poudre Fire Authority rescued five people from the Poudre River. They've performed at least 20 rescues since Memorial Day. To help keep people safe, access to Poudre River is now limited. One of the best things to do is put your feet downstream so that will help protect your head and you can see where you're going, stay as calm as possible. Officials also announced restrictions at Clear Creek due to dangerous conditions. Belly boats, inner tubes, and swimming will not be allowed. Kayaks, whitewater canoes, and stand-up paddle boards, to name a few, are exempt. If you plan to get in the water this weekend, experts recommend packing your life vest, a helmet, and a whistle in case you need to call for help. These hazardous conditions can last anywhere from a few days to weeks. You can see that kayaker right there took a dip into the water. Luckily, he's got his safety vest on and a helmet. Now, if you spot someone in distress, experts say make sure you call 911 and make a mental note of the last place you saw that person. In Golden, Addy Guardo, Denver 7.